Hi, my name is Nicole, and today I'm going to be talking about faith. Um, I was just listening to a preacher today, and he was talking about how um, God's pace is his pace and not ours. And it's very interesting. He was talking about how, you know, we think that things are supposed to go a certain way and that God never ran. Like, you never heard him say, oh, he was hurrying up to go get to this place. He was hurrying up to go get here, which is interesting because you don't hear them say that. They um, pretty much walked everywhere they went and... Um, I don't know if they was on horses or whatever to us. I think they was probably on horses or camels or whatever. But for the most part, they were taking their time, you know, and they didn't rush. So, but when we want stuff, sometimes we want to rush. And I know for me, I'm always wanting for, to see, to go to the next place. The guy was talking about when you see your vision, you kind of want to get there, which we all do. And that's how I feel. I see a vision of what I want for my life. I see a vision for what I believe was, is going to happen. But then I want to get there now, so I'm trying to figure out how I can fix it, how I can get there. Well, in order to get there, I have to have faith, which means that in order to have faith, I have to believe in something that I don't see. Because if you can see it, you don't have faith. Like it's no Faith is not required for something that you can already see. That's just believing or seeing it. But to believe in something you that um, isn't there is to have faith. So, and a vision. So with that being said, I have struggled with faith all the time. Some areas is like it gets better in, other areas is like, oh well, it's 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 stronger, some areas is weaker. But one area I want to talk about is that when I had kids, you know, when I before I had children, I actually believed that I was going to have kids. But then at some point when years and years kept going by, I'm like I don't know if this is going to happen. Then I did get pregnant, and it was like, well, then I lost it. So I'm like, well, so now I finally had, got one, and now it's going. And it's like, my husband's like, well, we're going to have him. I'm like, we can just adopt. He's like, no, no, we're going to have our own. I'm like, well, can you tell me when? Because I do feel like God's telling us when we're going to have kids. But when are we going to have one? Because I'm sick and tired of waiting. I don't know, I'm in my 30s. I don't know what's going on. I'm done. So he kept saying, we are, we are, we are. And I'm like, okay, whatever. And so part of me was just like, I had no faith. I had some faith, but I was tired. I was done. I was going to help the situation out. Just like, um, what's her name? Sarah with Abraham. She was like, all right, well, it, all right, listen, um, um, Abraham, we're going to just have you go over there with your handmaiden and have a baby with her because God said you're going to have babies, so that must be how you're going to have it. Come to find out, she's like 80,000 years old and having her own baby later. You know, if she had just listened to God, she wouldn't have baby mama drama. She would have just had a baby like God said, and she had just listened. That was not, she wasn't having no faith. That's why my baby's in the background. All right, hold on, hold on. Oh, oh she, her brother's bothering her. So anyway, for me, it took going to doctors, finally losing weight, and um, going to doctors, taking medication, and doing all the stuff. And once I decided I'm done with this, I'm just going to stop taking medication, that's the month I got pregnant. So for me, uh, for me, the faith came with the work. I had to actually do the work that God was saying to do. I had to learn about all these things. My doctor was amazing. She was um, Dr. Berkowitz. She was like an in Hahnemann. She was amazing. She absolutely like told me so much about ovulation, about, you know, conception, about mucus, about all these things that, you know, you're like, oh, I don't want to talk about, but it really helped me to understand, like, when I got pregnant, I knew I was pregnant. When I got, um, when I was ovulating, I knew I was ovulating, so I almost could tell you when I was going to have the child or when, you know, because of um, how much she taught you about your body. It was pretty amazing, but my point was, is that when it came to faith, my faith was faltering after, like, year 13 of not having any children that was very tough now i got four count them one two three four i got four and i had to be like all right lord we done let's rock this out we're not doing this again there's no more i'm in my 40s now and it's like okay we're, we're almost 40 we're not doing this anymore we're we're, we're we will shut down the operation so my body thinking oh yeah we can keep doing this no we can't because i'm busy and i got things to do with my life and i can't keep on doing this so the faith if I hadn't listened to what God was telling me, hadn't listened, believed, and then done the work, they wouldn't be here. So now I have another area of my life that I got to work out on my faith, and that's my business. You know, I have a vision of what my business is going to be, my public speaking and writing business. I have a bit of view of what type of websites I'm going to have, all those type of things. But instead of me 
believing it, believing the pacing that God has given me. I want to run, 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 go, go, go. And it's like, you really can't because you want to be able to do all these things, but you got four kids to take care of. Well, I don't like that. Not that, they don't, not that I don't like, not the kids, but I don't like that I don't, can't go as fast as I want to go. I want to go the speed I feel like going, but it's not about me. It's about God. So faith requires that I take some time and the pace that God gave me. Like I just surrendered everything to God this week. And with that being said, there's like all of the stuff that's going on. It's, I want to do all these things. I have a parent organization I'm part of. I have um, writing a book. I'm um, doing studying on websites, different trainings and things like that. Being a parent, I'm um, trying to get myself, my health, all these things back in order. And, you know, just a bunch of other things. And so I'm thinking that once I surrender to God, the next day, it's about to be on. Like, everything's going to just, like, smoothly work out. Like, okay, so... The next day, I'm going to have no balance. I'm going to be balancing home and work. And I'm going to be exercising. And I'm going to be um, going to the store and shopping and cooking and cleaning the house, which I cannot stand, by the way. Um, I'm going to be getting all this stuff organized. It's going to be, like, amazing. It's going to be right. Like, I'm just going to be right. Like, yeah, yeah. No, that's not what happened. The next day, things almost slowed down. I just started taking more time to, like, spend time with the kids, to eat lunch, to cook this, to wash these dishes, to go to the, like, we just walked to the, to the, to the um, mechanic to go pick up my car. I had therapy with my son. I'm doing, getting work done on the computer. I'm making phone calls for different things. But now it's almost like things have slowed down. When I thought they was going to go, like, really fast and I was going to, No. Apparently, God's pace is slower because that's what I'm feeling. And that's what the guy was preaching about today. <sighs> this requires a lot of faith because it means I have to believe in the vision that I have, that I see at the same time, accepting that God's pace is not what mine is. So I'm hoping that that's going to help somebody because if you have faith, you have to accept God's pace. You have to accept that God is going to do what he's going to do when he's going to do it and not when you want it done, nor when you feel you can accomplish it by. Like, I'm like, oh, I can get this done by this time. And I actually started getting anxiety. And it was like, no. What I want you to do is to go organize this in the house, go make this lunch, and then go walk. Hey! Like, what? But I'm trying, to, I'm trying to make moves. I got to make this phone call. God's God like, no. What I want you to do is go organize this, go do this, go make this lunch, and then go walk. Well, if you say so, God. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'll be here in a second. I'm almost done. So, anyway. Um, Mama. Yes. My point is, is that you got to have faith. In order to have faith, you got to have a vision. In order to have a vision, you got to believe. In order to believe, you gotta know that you gotta know that Mama. something is there beyond what you Mama. can see. So, Mama. believe in God's pace. Believe in surrendering to God. Believe in a, your vision that God has given you, because it can and it will happen. My four children are proof of that. But when you surrender to one area, you think you but got it down for all areas of your life. Sometimes you're gonna have to do it again and again. And again, and so now this is my area that I'm working on. Hopefully, whatever area you're working on now, you can surrender God to God and allow God's pace to take off for you. Thank you for listening and live your legacy. Bye.